In this video, I will be explaining how to define the force on the nodes. Consider an example. I want to apply the force of 100 Newton on this end. This end is composed of number of nodes. I want to divide 100 Newton about these nodes. How do I do it? First, I need to count how many number of nodes exist at this end. For that, Pick on tools, pick on count, I want to count the nodes, ensure that the nodes is selected, Under, under FE entities, you can find the nodes. Drag a window to select these nodes. You can read in the command line that 13 nodes are added. I want to define the force on 13 nodes. The summation of that force for these 13 nodes should be 100. For that, I calculate what is the force coming on each node. 100 divided by 13. Approximately 7.7 .7 Newton is coming on each node. Pick on return, pick on analysis, pick on force. I want to apply the force or create the force on nodes. Select these nodes and enter the magnitude of force in x direction. Ensure that x direction is selected or select the proper direction. Enter the magnitude of the force as 7.7 .7 and pick on create. Click on the wireframe and note that on these nodes the force of 7.7 .7 Newton is acting in X direction. The force and the boundary conditions. The force and the boundary conditions applied on the model will be recorded in the load collector. In the load collector, one automatic collector has been created named as AUTO1 in which these constraints and forces are saved. Pick on return. At this point of time, the definition of the force is complete. 